So welcome back guys, it's cringe back! I actually need to stop doing that. Now if you made it this far without knowing what the UCAT stands for, it's the United Kingdom Clinical Aptitude Test. Basically the UK CAT, except that the K got removed. Why? Why? So the test sets out the test aptitude of students who take it. However, in all honesty, it doesn't really measure how good of a doctor you are. There are just some people who will be bookworms and may score higher in the test. Doesn't necessarily mean that they have the personal skills required to become a good doctor. It's a requirement for graduate and undergraduate entries at many universities such as Cardiff, Bristol, Manchester, Exeter, Queen Mary, St George's, King's and the list goes on. I will hopefully put all the universities that use it in the description box below and we'll mention how they use it in another video. However, getting down to taking the UCAT, I hope that this course is very summarised and basically I don't wish to waste your time. Now some unis will use the UK CAT to rank students to provide points for their application process while others will use it in marginal cases and some universities will use it very very minimally alongside your personal statement, predicted grades, teacher references and will mention the university breakdowns. Now as of 2020 we know that it's quarantine season and this means that with the UK CAT a grade set emphasis will be placed on it because teachers aren't able to accurately predict if your grades so I know that's a little bit of a mouthful but essentially explaining it the fact that the UK CAT is the only real exam that you will be taking so expect universities to tailor their selection process around doing well in this exam and it's vital um, my story at King's really shows how important a UK CAT score is and hopefully we'll break that down in another video now you may be wondering what sort of scores are needed to get into universities such as Queen Mary, King's, Cardiff. That is a worry for after the UK CAT exam. The main aim of this course is to allow students to achieve a score of 700 plus. Now, some may say that's unrealistic. I honestly believe if students choose to implement the techniques I've given, collated for many, many students, as well as my own personal experience, which is up to date, as of 2019. Now naturally I'm a very lazy person and I try to look for shortcuts and things that essentially give me a lot of time and I hope to bring this across within the videos. Now some will say that the UK cat is something that you naturally have or you don't. Waffle. Absolute waffle. Don't believe what majority of people tell you. Like, if it was something naturally, then it'd be open discrimination, which it clearly isn't. Now, some may say that there's a correlation between time put in revising and preparing for the UK CAT. No, I say that there is causation. Even though I know how unscientific this is, and this is not why I'm teaching you within a course. I Just to emphasize the point that is being made, you need to spend time on this course, whether it means practicing, watching walkthroughs. It is in the utmost importance that you do spend time. Time is equal to good grades. Time is equal to success or allowing you to reach that next stage to become a doctor because it's vital that you do well within this admissions test because the admission tutors are not checking your name they're not checking you for your personality they're checking stats they're checking predicted grades they're checking your scores and if you fail to reach a cutoff or if you fail to reach the average score, you will seriously harm your application. And hopefully, I don't plan on wasting any more of your time, so let's basically get straight into the course. Now, one of the best applications or softwares to use within this course is Medify. Now, Medify, I'll get into the perks of Medify, but trust me, it's a beast of an application, a beast of a software, and I don't know a single person who's taken the UK cat without purchasing Medify. Hence, for that reason, I have links in my description. Hopefully, don't purchase it just yet. Get onto my uh, importance of Medify video so that you can see I'm not here to deceive you, but I'm here to tell you the avenue that you need to take in order to do well in this exam. If you have very minimal time, I have an ebook that is present in the link description. That's my killer, killer, killer tips Essentially, I explained them in the video, but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained. Basically, catch you guys on the other side. Why is it hard for me? Why is it hard for me? Oh.